You've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. <laughs> I first got involved in gymnastics when I was around six years old and that was just when my mum and dad brought me to a local gymnastics club, it was Raph Gale at the time um, and it, I just, I enjoyed all, every aspect of it really, I mean even even though I had other sports going on, I think gymnastics helped them other sports and helped me progress in them sports so I think that kind of shows that gymnastics can be good for everybody, doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean you need to pursue an elite pathway or um, go on to be the best in the world in gymnastics it can it can translate to a lot of different sports as well so I first came when I it was the old gym in Rathgill it was uh, down near the Bangor seafront um, uh, so it shows that Rathgill has come a long way it's um it's advanced to this amazing facility and uh, of, of course it's produced a, a high high standard uh, elite pathway <laughs> I loved every second of um, of my time in Australia, but it's uh, it's great to be back home, back back in Northern Ireland, back in my hometown Newton Ards, back here at Ralph Gales Gymnastics Club, and um, I have to say the support that I've, that I've got since I've been back here is it's overwhelming, and it makes me very proud to be part of such an amazing amazing community. It wasn't a perfect performance by any means. It was it was a great performance. It's the best performance I've ever done um, on that stage. Um, but I know that there's more to come. I know from judging from the way I've been training, the, the routines I've been putting in training, um, there there is a lot more to come and I'm excited for that. And I see the young gymnasts that are training alongside me and um, I see them as an inspiration to me because I, I want to kind of lead a path and I want them to follow in it. And I think um, I'm, I'm the first gymnast to actually create that pathway. And that's exciting for me because that, that's kind of a motivator for me in, gym, in, in my training. And um, to, see, to see these young gymnasts being inspired by me and seeing me as a role model is it's incredibly inspiring for myself. So the big ones are European Championships and Worlds, so um, they're the big focus for this year and also next year. Um, this year it'll be like a good trial run, it'll be good to see where I'm at at, at the European level and world level and um, uh, I'm hoping to go out there and prove that I can be up there with the best in the world. Um, and then 2019 is going to be the qualification year for the 2020 Olympics um, and that won't be by any means easy. I think, I think a lot of people see this success in Commonwealth Games and think oh he's going to the Olympics um, but that's not the case it's going to be a tough battle between us and Ireland and uh, I, I'm looking forward to it I really am. <laughs> <laughs>